So let me introduce you to EOSIO 2. With enhanced performance and support for the latest web standards, EOSIO 2 will make using blockchain applications even easier for the masses. Under EOSIO 1, we use WebAssembly optimized for browsers and standards development, not for blockchain. So we decided to create our own, designed from the ground up with blockchain in mind, and we call it EOS VM. <clears throat> this is WebAssembly Engine designed for specifically for blockchain. When we released EOSIO a year ago, we used the Binarian Engine. Six months later, we doubled the performance of EOSIO by switching to the Wabbit Engine. With EOS VM, we believe we can now execute WebAssembly 12 times faster than when we launched a year ago. <laughs> And this is important because the single biggest bottleneck for blockchain is the speed with which you can execute smart contracts. EOSVM lowers the cost and can increase the scalability of applications built on EOSIO. It's designed from the ground up for the high demands of blockchain applications, which require far more from a WebAssembly engine than those designed for browsers or standards development. In the world of blockchain, any non-deterministic behavior, unbounded computation, or unbounded user RAM can take down a blockchain for everyone, not just a single user. Single-threaded performance, fast compilation and validation, and low overhead calls to native code are critical for blockchain security. Existing libraries incorporate a large code bases that are difficult to audit to the degree needed by smart contracts. This is why EOSVM is designed as a lightweight, header-only library. So while EOSVM is designed for blockchain, we believe it is ideally suited for any application looking to build on high performance WebAssembly. So EOSVM will be the new default WebAssembly engine uh, in EOSIO 2 when it's released later this summer. This means that EOSIO can support more users doing more transactions than ever. <laughs>